Welcome everybody. Today we are talking about the idea groups within Europa Universalis 4. Today we are talking about diplomatic ideas. Diplomatic ideas uses diplomatic monarch points to level up and the first idea you get within it is plus one diplomat. This is quite beneficial as it gives you an extra diplomat to improve relations or build spy networks or other such tasks which is very useful especially if you're a smaller country with limited amounts of diplomats. The next idea is plus one diplomatic relation which allows you to have an extra diplomatic relation slot. So it allows you to have an extra vassal or an extra ally or an extra marriage without having to spend diplomatic points to maintain it. After that, you get minus 33% cost of reducing war exhaustion. This can be beneficial in a pinch. It's always better to reduce war exhaustion passively, but in a pinch, it can be needed to reduce it manually so this lowers the cost of doing that action. After that, you get plus 25% improved relations. This is a very beneficial idea as it allows you to improve relations with your neighbors quicker, which allows you to acquire alliances quicker. It also reduces the amount of aggressive expansion you have against your neighbors quicker as improving relations with nations lowers the amount of aggressive expansion you have with them. After that, you get plus two diplomatic reputation. Diplomatic reputation is how other countries see you. So the higher your diplomatic reputation, the more likely other countries are to ally you, marry you, and it also allows you to integrate and, in and annex vassals and personal unions at a quicker rate. After that, you get minus 20% province war score cost. This allows you to take provinces at minus 20% than normal cost. It's a very powerful and useful idea, especially later in the game, as it allows you to take a lot more territory than you normally would because of the decreased cost. And finally, you get minus 10% diplomatic technology cost. This allows you to get diplomatic technology cheaper than you normally would. It's a very useful idea for keeping ahead in tech and it also allows you to catch up in tech very quickly. Upon completion, you get lowered impact on stability from diplomatic actions. This is personally one of my favorite bonuses in the game. What it basically means is, if you were to break a royal marriage, or declare war on someone you have a royal marriage with, you will lose stability. This removes that. You no longer lose the stability if you do that. So, in my personal opinion, Diplomatic Idea Groups is a very, very powerful and useful idea group. It allows you to get more allies and it allows you to expand quicker. So, hope you enjoyed, guys. Thanks for listening. I'll catch you all later.